What is up YouTube? This is Anashi with a brand new deck profile video. This time I'll be showing you the changes and updates to my fish deck, which has been getting surprisingly high demand due to the fact that it's been well over a year since I updated and I did promise one after we got our hands on the new White Aura monster. Though to be perfectly honest, even with the White Aura monster, not a lot changed. However, I found a new mini engine to run in the deck that specifically uses an old card I've been using, but a bit more frequently and a bit more consistently. Let me show you what I got. Starting off with the monster lineup, we have a pair of seven colored fish, or at least it will be once I get my second copy in the mail. I mostly just run it for the meme, but I was thinking about trading it out for something with lower attack that could be pulled back with salvage, maybe Tongyo or I don't know, something less ugly. A playset of Double Fin Shark. On its normal summon, it takes any level 3 or 4 water fish type monster in your grave and special summons it in defense, but with its effects negated. Now, you cannot special summon monsters to turn you use this effect except water monsters, which is the primary reason this deck is all water. Well, not just him, but a few other cards as well. Two Royal Swamp Eel. I really want to run this at 3, but given that it doesn't have the ability to special summon itself, 2 seems fine. It's just a 4-star fish tuner, but it does also have a stipulation saying you can only use fish-type monsters to synchro summon with it, which is fine because that's all I run in the main. A playset of Silent Angler, who can special summon itself from your hand if you control a water monster, but you cannot special summon any other monsters from your hand for the rest of the turn. A playset of White Stingray, the card I was waiting for and has given this deck a bit of a new edge, but at the same time didn't change as much as I was hoping it would. You can special summon him from your hand by discarding a water monster, but you can only special summon him this way once per turn. And he also turns himself into a tuner if he is special summoned from the graveyard. A playset of Xyz Remora, a fish type monster I was already running, but due to a small change in the tech cards I use, this card has become one of the best and most fluid playmakers this entire archetype actually has to offer. I can special summon him from my hand by detaching two Xyz materials from an Xyz monster or monsters I control, and if I do, I can target two level 4 fish type monsters in my grave and special summon them in defense position. Their effects are negated, they cannot change their battle positions, and cannot be used as Xyz material except for the Xyz summon of a water monster. This card was initially just supposed to be a means to get Link and Xyz material, but it also became a really good tribute fodder card. Specifically for the Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth, and yes, apparently it is pronounced Coelacanth. Somebody in my last video pointed that out, and I've been trying to teach myself to say it that way since it happened. Once per turn, I can discard a card that special summon as many level 4 or lower fish monsters from my deck as possible, but any monster special summoned by this effect cannot declare an attack and have their effects on the field negated. Also, if he is targeted by a spell, trap, or effect monster's effect, I can attribute one other fish type monster, negate the effect, and destroy the card. Next up, we move into the spell cards. Starting with a copy of Card Destruction, and I have been trying high and low to find decks that this card actually works for, and so far Fish seems to be one of the few it actually does good things for. Both players discard their hands and then draw the same number of cards they started with. It's also a great bait card for cards like Ash Blossom. One Dark Hole, because I still can't afford Red Gekis just yet. A playset of Generation Force, a very aptly named card given the era it came from, and an incredibly useful card to get one specific monster out of my deck. If you control an Xyz monster, you can add one card with Xyz in its name from your deck to your hand. And the only card in this deck, of course, that has that qualification is Xyz Remora. Triple Instant Fusion. One monster reborn, stable in every deck I play. A Rank Up Magic 7th one. I get a lot of flack for running this card, but right now it is a free summon that also acts as a negate bait. A playset of Salvage, which pulls two water monsters with 1500 or less attack from the graveyard to your hand. A pair of Twin Twisters, not only to disrupt the opponent's back row and field spell, which I'm seeing a lot more of, but also to get the Coelacanth out of my hand in the event that I cannot play it. And a playset of Unexpected Die, or at least it will be once I get my third copy, which is exclusively the special summon, the seven colored fish straight out of the deck to the field. Now for the trap lineup, I'm keeping it extremely simple and sticking to two bottomless trap hole and a solemn warning. Moving on. Next we move into the side deck. We have a spare copy of Royal Swamp Eel. A playset of Wind Up Shark, which I still want to run in the main deck, but at the moment it's just a little bit too specific to really be of any true use. 
When a wind-up monster is normal or special summoned to your side of the field, you can special summon him from your hand, and once per turn, you can either increase this card's level by one until the end phase, or decrease its level by one until the end phase. Two MST, Compulsory, Two Fiendish Chain, a playset of Gozen Match, which forces each player to only control one attribute of monster, and then each player also has to send monsters they control to the graveyard until they only control one attribute. One Mirror Force, and two Torrential Tribute. And then finally, we finish up with the extra deck. We have a pair of Rare Fish, which is the target for my Instant Fusion, a pair of White Aura Whale, though I do kind of want to run it at three in the near future. When it's Synchro Summoned, you can destroy all your opponent's attack position monsters, which is amazing. It can attack twice, and if it attacks a defense position monster, it does piercing. Also, if it happens to be destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish any other water monster out of your grave and re-summon it. And while it's face up from this effect, it's treated as a tuner monster. I know that's mostly for the White Aura Bifamat card we're supposed to be getting, but it is not worth using. Next up we have number 71, Rebarian Shark. A rank 3 that I don't actually summon legitimately, I summon off a different card, and I'm sure you can probably guess which one, but it does have a couple of useful effects. If it has Xyz material, I can target a number monster in my grave, special summon it, and then if I do, I can attach a material from him to that newly resummoned monster. But the main effect I use it for is that if it goes to the graveyard, I can stack a rank up magic spell on top of my deck, which will always be the seventh one. One copy of Abyss Dweller. I'll be perfectly honest, this card's mostly a burner card, because I don't really use its effects very often unless I absolutely need to. While it has Xyz material that was originally water, all water monsters gain 500 attack, and once per turn during either player's turn I can detach a material, and any card effects that activate in my opponent's graveyard cannot be activated in this turn. One Bahamut Shark, which is the main way that I pull Rebarian Shark, obviously, because I can detach a material from it and special summon a rank 3 or lower water Xyz from my extra deck, but he can't attack the turn I do this. And then I use Rebarian Shark as Xyz material to summon the full armored Black Grey Lancer, though it can be summoned using three level four water monsters. He gains 200 attack points for each Xyz material under him. If he would be destroyed, I can attach all the materials under him instead, and if he destroys an opponent's monster by battle, I can target a spell trap the opponent controls and destroy it. Also a Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. When any player's monster declares an attack, I can detach a material from him, and all monsters my opponent currently controls lose a thousand attack until the end of the turn. And when this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one other monster in your graveyard and special summon it. I can only use each effect once per turn though. 101 Silent Honor Arc. I can double detach to target an opponent's special summon monster in attack position and attach it to him as Xyz material, and if he would be destroyed, I can detach a material from him instead. 103 Ragna Zero is a tech card I actually stole from Penguins. Once per turn during either player's turn, I can detach material and target a face-up attack position monster my opponent controls whose current attack is different from its original attack, destroy it, and if I do, I get to draw a card. And then the rank up magic 7th one target, C101 Silent Honor Dark. I can target a special summon monster my opponent controls and attach it to this card as a material. If he's destroyed and sent to the graveyard while it has material, I can special summon it back from the grave, then gain life points equal to its original attack. But number 101, Silent Honor Arc, must be in the graveyard to activate and resolve this effect, and if he is special summoned this way, I can't attack with him that turn. And a playset of Mistar Boy. All water monsters gain 500 attack and defense, fire monsters lose 400 attack and defense, and if he is destroyed by Valor card effect, I can take any water monster in my grave and put it back in my hand. Though this effect is a hard once per turn. And that is the deck. I'll be perfectly honest with you, at the moment this deck is very narrow focused and is a bit fragile to disruption. It does not like being interrupted from its combos, but when it gets the combos off, it usually results in a decently strong power board that some players have difficulty handling. Now a lot of people have pointed out in the past, and are probably going to point out now, that the extra deck between this and Penguins are very similar, but each one uses their extra deck a little bit differently. Penguins use their extra deck as a means of interrupting the opponent and use the main deck cards as the main means of removal and advantage plays. Sharks use their main deck as material and use the extra deck as their main means of doing moves. Now I am still waiting for the rest of the fish type support to come out, specifically the great white aura 7 star synchro, as well as white salvation which is a great resource recouping card alongside salvage. And I know that once we finally get those cards, this deck will be even better than it is now. I thank you guys for watching the deck profile, and if you can think of any way that I can improve this fishy deck, feel free to let me know. In the meantime, 
This has been Nanashi, signing out.